Okay, so today we are going to do a LaTeX tutorial. What is LaTeX and how does it work and how do you actually go about learning it? Very complicated, isn't it? Ooh, look, magic. So what LaTeX is, is LaTeX is this thing called typesetting where basically you type a bunch of, I guess you could say commands, not really commands, but let's just call them that for simplicity. And the computer will turn that into text. It will compile it into text. And it kind of works like a typewriter in the sense that you press a button and things get typed onto the paper. The formatting and everything is taken care of by itself. You don't have to worry about manually writing it down like you do on Word, where you just you just open it up, you open it up and you type it and to do sections, you do things like this. And the reason LaTeX is better is because the formatting is taken care of. Now, yes, the formatting needs to be specified with commands, but the thing about commands is they can be automated, recorded down and turned into snippets. And I'm going to show that right here. So let's wipe all of this. Now, LaTeX works by compiling things. So to have a simple hello world case, what you'll need to do is you'll need to have all of this. Now, Maybe not all of this. Some of it is unnecessary. Like these, you don't need these packages. I use them because I mostly use those packages. So I just put in the snippet. But yes, basically you need to write about, I think five lines of code to get a simple hello world use case. Now on Word, you just open it up and you can write hello world. Sounds simple, right? And in the short term, yes, it is simpler to just open up Word, Word, and write Hello World. However, if you want to do anything remotely sophisticated, you will end up running into a lot of problems. And I'll show you what those problems can be. So take, for example, simple things such as sections. Now, in Word, to do sections, you basically need to change the font, put a number, and then press Enter, and so on. I think Word is getting better at it, but it's still ridiculously com complicated. In LaTeX, you can just do this section and label. And this label is useful because you can use it to re-reference the section. So I'll show you where I did that here. This is the section. And over here, this blue text, if I click it, it takes me that back to that section. And you can see it's also done with the equation D. If I press 2, it takes me to equation 2. If I press 5, it takes me to equation 5. This is also very useful. I think you can do this in Word, but I'm guessing it's ridiculously difficult. Now, this is the power of LaTeX. The formatting, uh, the contents page as well. Let me quickly talk about that. In LaTeX, the contents page is handled automatically, as you can see on this line right here. Now, I think Word can do it too, because Word has some, I guess you could say intelligence. I mean, it's technically retardation, but we'll say intelligence. And what it does, it can highlight the section and it kind of stores them in memory. I don't know how Word works. It is ridiculously complicated. But in LaTeX, you can just do it like that. Now, you guys will probably not be using NeoVim and all that stuff. You guys will probably be using something like Tech Studio. Now, Tech Studio, you can install it. This is a text editor for LaTeX. It's got your PDF view over here, and it has the, the editable view over here. And I think it has a structure view or what. This is dumb software, I agree. But I think Tech Studio is better than Word. Now, usually what I have, and I use this all the time, I have Vim, VimTech, and Zathura. Now, you can get the setup. I have videos on how to do that on my channel. But however, you're probably going to do something like Tech Studio. Now, when you combine the, the efficiency of LaTeX with Vim, you just get, you get unprecedented levels of efficiency. And now, another thing LaTeX is extremely good for is math equations. Let's take, for example, simple math equations like the first one. How would you write an equation like this in Word? You would just take forever. You would have to do things like click something to get the power sign, and then you'll have to click something again to get the subscript. Now, in LaTeX, underscore and the power sign just handles it automatically. As you can see over here. And now another thing that LaTeX is really useful for is symbols. In Word, you will have a huge symbol view somewhere and you'll have to scroll down and you'll have to search the symbol code for your symbol or whatever. But on LaTeX, you just print the symbol. I think this is the symbol for the, the triangle looking thingy here. 
and then C dot, okay, that's that. And you have the E, I think it's, oh, vec E, okay. Vector is the arrow thing on top. That's what the vec command does. This is another symbol. I think it's called row. Even I'm not too familiar with symbols, but you get the point. On LaTeX, it's just so much easier to do symbols like this. Doing something like this in Word will almost be, it's obviously possible, but it will take a ridiculously long amount of time. And when you have a thesis and you want to reference equations, in Word, what you'll end up doing is you'll scroll to another page, copy the equation, and then you'll like paste it down. In LaTeX, you can just have a snippet doing that. Or you can use the ref thing over here. This is why LaTeX is extremely powerful. And you can use things like itemize, you can things like dual page layouts. Itemize is basically the list environment. Okay, this is itemize. And now, part of the reason people find LaTeX extremely confusing is because in LaTeX, well, it's not confusing, it's really straightforward, but whatever. In LaTeX, you need to learn the syntax, basically. I don't understand why syntax uh, scares people away so much. Syntax is very easy to learn. And the reason syntax is even easier is because you have the internet to basically take care of it for you. I haven't memorized all of these things. I have automated all of these things. I haven't memorized it. I have snippets to do all of this, as I showed earlier. And you can make your own snippets as well. These are all the snippets I have made because these are things I commonly use. And on top of all that, I have snippets downloaded from someone else. So I have even more snippets, which just makes everything so much easier. These are bibliographies, templates I normally use. These are title pages I normally use. And on LaTeX, it is just so much easier to handle all these things. And how would you go about learning LaTeX? Well, it's not really that difficult. First, I would recommend you get Tech Studio, because if you're on Windows, you just have no hope. Now, if you're on Mac, you can get Zathura, but I don't think you're going to be doing this. And with LaTeX, if you have any doubt, you literally just go to the internet. There are many websites like Overleaf, which go over a lot of syntax in LaTeX. There are also exercises you can do on LaTeX, like this website right here. Basically, you have to print all of this onto LaTeX, and it's just... I have never really done these exercises. You just learn LaTeX by using it. So let's take, for example, something else on LaTeX, like tables. How do you do tables? Well, you don't do tables. You have the snippet to do tables for you, or at least that's what most people do. So this is how you would do tables on LaTeX. And yes, it seems more complicated at the start, but over time, with the fact that you can just copy paste them, it's not really that difficult. So I've just made a table. Where have I made the table? Ah, there you go. So you'll have an environment for everything and learning this kind of syntax, you can just use the internet to do it. So let's say tabular environment in lay. Let's use a simpler tables in LaTeX. Overleaf, horrible software, but it'll tell you how to do it. Begin tabular CCC. There you go. Now you can get a tabular like this. If you want to have borders, you can do that and you can use the edge line command. You can get a border like this, border like this and so on. No one, the, the way competency works, the way this LaTeX, all this Vim bullshit works, we don't memorize things. I don't even, even when I use Linux, I don't memorize commands. I don't use uh, change directory. I don't CD into things. Usually I have ZSH autocompletion. ZSH is a fully featured shell. So is Bash. So is Fish. I have LF, which is a file management program. You don't, we don't memorize all these things. We automate them all the time. And with LaTeX, and this kind of online syntax stuff, it is even easier. So if there's something in LaTeX you don't know how to use, you don't know how to do, you just go online and search it, and then you save it down in the form of a snippet, and then you're set. If there's something on Word you don't know how to do, you're just fucked, okay? And on Word, doing things is just so much harder anyway. You tell me what is easier, using some you tell me what is easier, typing out, copy-pasting this from the internet, right? The Maxwell equations or searching up, okay, dollar sign, dollar sign. Okay, what, how, what is the Nabla sign? How to get upside down triangle sign in LaTeX? If you don't know what Nabla means, I don't know what Nabla means. There you go. Okay, so now I know, okay, this is the upside down triangle sign. I'm going to go back to my LaTeX and there you go. I have, I spelt it wrong. Okay, there you go, right? You can see how a simple Google search, and yes, I know Google is a shitty search engine, but whatever. You just search something, you get your symbol, and then you're done. On Word, symbols is just impossible. Math equations are also impossible. Now, if you want to start doing things like matrix, it gets even more complicated. How do you do matrix on matrices on Word? How do you get custom sizes and things like that? There's a reason most academics just use LaTeX. 
And LaTeX, I would argue, is also simpler for easy, basic use cases. Maybe not as basic as Hello World. For Hello World, I'd recommend using VimWiki. And so yes, this is why you should use LaTeX. I understand this is not a full-blown tutorial, but however, you can figure that out because you have something called a brain. All you need to do is use it. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck on your journey to competency and see you in the next one.